So guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you see the title, this is for the person that is unsure of what to buy in the market. Now, I'm not suggesting to buy a Windows Surface tablet, obviously. This is more so to show you the difference between the software so you understand what it is that you're buying. Especially during holiday time, people's birthdays are coming up, you may not know what to get. So on the right-hand side, we have a Samsung tablet A9 Plus 5G. This came out about 2023. And then you have this over here, which is a very old tablet, the Windows Surface uh, 2, as a matter of fact. This came out back in like 2013, so it's basically a, nearly a 12-year-old computer. Now, you may ask yourself, why am I comparing the two? Well, I'll explain in a moment. So first, we're going to just push this guy to the side for the moment, and we're going to focus on the Samsung tablet right here, and we're going to try to keep those glares out of the screen. So just in case you're wondering, this is about $279 or so. You can actually get them for Metro by T-Mobile for dirt cheap, practically free for adding a line. But for everybody else that don't have prepaid carriers, you might have to pay regular price. So, you know, keep that in mind. Now, what can this do? This is a basic Android tablet. Let me see if I can go to the settings and we can read off some of these specifications if it tells you. So this guy right here, this is the model number of the tablet. Don't worry, that phone number is already discontinued. So <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm not sure if it's factory unlock or not, but this does run the Android software. Let me go ahead and go to that real fast. The One UI 6.1 Android 14. I'm not sure how many updates it's going to get, if any, but this is a basic Android tablet. So for reference reasons, anything you do on your phone, this is what the tablet can do. Now, if you have a powerful phone, obviously it's going to outpace this tablet. The point of this video is to show that if you're in a market for a computer, you may buy this thinking that it's a computer or it's a replacement to use for your phone. That's not the case. Think of Android tablets no differently than iPads. iPads are no more than glorified iPhones. They don't do anything differently. They're, I mean, they could use an Apple Pencil, so that's one thing that they do differently. But the point is that it's a bigger extension of your phone so you don't have to use your phone device. So you do have things like uh, Ucut for this particular one. You do have games, applications, Call of Duty Mobile, anything that's in the Play Store should relatively run on an Android tablet depending on the quality of the tablet, the processor and things like that. But outside of that, it's nothing special. So if you go to the store, if you go to Samsung's website, if you, like I said, if you go to Google, you look at the Google tablets, you look at the OnePlus tablets, so many of these uh, uh, reviewers are going to say, oh, you can add a keyboard to it and it's like owning a computer. That is a total and absolute lie. They're, going at, they're looking at things from a tech perspective because they all own computers. If you yourself are a regular consumer and you're just now going into the market, this is not going to meet your needs. This isn't going to run Creative Suite. This is not going to run all the programs that you're used to on your PC. It's not going to run a legitimate version of FL Studio or a legitimate version of Opera GX or, or Google Chrome and stuff. It's like an optimized version made for the tablet. So please keep that in mind. And again, it's not to say that these tablets are bad at all because I always keep a tablet. Uh, don't mind the spots. My hands are all over the place, so it does get really spotty, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, it does have, does it have a headphone jack? This particular one does have a headphone jack. Of course, it's Bluetooth built in. I believe it has expandable memory. I'm not sure, but uh, you, it does. You could put an SD card slot in it, but it depends on the type of tablet that you buy. So it is a good investment, but these are more so for people that are, you know, doing viewing for, uh, uh, um, what's the word we're looking for here? If you're going to do your taxes, some people do do taxes on their phone. A regular PC is more ideal because you'll get the full application and it'll run a whole lot better and it'll crash less, at least in my experience. But tablets are pretty good for the most part. But we're going to go ahead and put this to the side for right now. And now we're going to talk about the Surface tablet, which again, this came out in 2013. But believe it or not, I'm still using it for a couple things. Now, personally, I just use it for pictures and reading manga and stuff like that. It's really convenient for that reason applications like Opera that you see right here. I don't use the regular uh, web browser, whatever it's called. I forget what it's called, Microsoft Edge or something like that. I use it occasionally when I first set this up, but I always download a different web browser, so teach their own. I do have FL Studio on here, a legitimate copy, and I am able to make music on these tablets. Of course, keep in mind, these tablets have their own keyboards that you can buy off of Amazon. You can buy them directly from the Microsoft Store or Best Buy if you want to, though you'll be paying regular price. I think this was like 20 something dollars, so keep that in mind. And they have made other Surface tablets that are way newer than this one. So what's the fundamental differences? Well, this runs Windows 11. Originally, I forget what it was launched with, but it was recently updated to Windows 11 free of charge. I didn't do anything. I just reset the tablet, 
went through the update, it gave it to me as a free upgrade, so keep that in mind. If you hit the settings, everything runs like a legitimate, regular computer, as you can see right here. You have your downloads, you have your photos, pictures, music, videos, things like that. Everything runs really, really well for the most part. And this is, this is 12 years old, believe it or not. So for a person out there, if you're wondering, well, hey, how would I connect this to my phone to move data and things like that? Well, it does have a USB-C on the side. Behind this, believe it or not, it has expandable memory right here. That's where the SD card is. And it just goes to show that this is a standalone computer by itself. It may not be as powerful as a traditional desktop or laptop, but it is powerful. And you can hook this up through USB to drag data on and off of this in order to put onto the hair because it's a legitimate computer that runs Windows. So I need you to understand, when you go to the store, you say, I need a computer. Do not confuse an Android or iPad tablet for a real computer because they will never ever in a million years equal up to it. If you're talented enough, or if you grew up with iPads, your iPad baby, or you just know technology in general, it may be possible for you to easily uh, uh, use it and never touch a legitimate computer, but most people have an iMac, most people have some form of a PC, a build or something like that, because this is what you need for more storage, applications, Game Pass, well Game Pass works on this too, but Game Pass and other things, Steam, all that stuff will run like a legitimate computer, and I just want you guys to kind of be aware of that. We don't need to talk about specifications because each computer is different, so with that being said, hopefully this helped you. Like and subscribe like always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Peace.